What's up guys, welcome back to Yep Fishing. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Pure Lure Group Lure. Let's check it out. All right, firstly, this is the bag that the Group Lure came in. Was uh, pleasantly surprised to see this bag. I don't know, it kind of looks pretty premium to me. Even though it doesn't have any foam padding, it has sort of like a, a faux leather or a, a suede kind of feel on this here. And this is definitely nice and thick. So it's definitely a strong bag. And it's got some yellow on the inside there. Two pockets here. The zip goes all the way down to here, maybe 12 inches something like that. So yeah, the bag's actually quite nice for what it is. But anyway, on to the business. Okay, this is the Pure Lure Groupla. It's a heavier rod than what I'm usually showing on this channel. Uh, it actually says on AliExpress that it's a four to 21 grams casting weight. But in fact, it says on here that it is five to 24 grams. So that'll be interesting whether or not it's, you know, accurate on Ali or accurate how it's printed on the rod. But yeah, there's a ton of rods in this lineup, both spinning and casting, all sort of like, you know, from medium to medium heavy. These are uh, fast action rods. They're all six foot six and above up to, I believe eight foot three. I'll put all the specs up on the screen. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be used for um, casting land-based heavier lures, hopefully for some salmon and even some um, big trout in the lake. So we'll start from the butt end. Now it's got this nice triangular monocoque butt. Really like that. It's It's got a matte finish to it. it. It feels nice and comfortable. It's got this angled end to it here. It feels real ergonomical to be honest. Uh, better than the Pure Lua Zero, which has a, a rounder, uh, lower diameter uh, end on the butt there. We'll compare those rods later in the video. But in terms of the looks, very, very stylish looking. Got this short section in the split grip here. That's around about four and a half inches long, I would say. Same kind of foam on the Pure Lua Zero. Very firm. And it's also got this straighter trigger which isn't my favorite style. I prefer it to have a little bit more curve. It's, you know, it makes it a little bit more ergonomical for me personally, but there's nothing wrong with that. I have seen completely straight ones, which I definitely don't like, but that is fine. Pure Lua logo there on the real seat with this kind of like cherry wood color almost, I would say, that fades into black on the sides. And then you can see there that same color that fades into black. Carbon fiber detail on the nut here. And on here it says, enjoy fishing. Don't have to tell me to enjoy fishing, I'll enjoy it. And then you can see on the nut here, it has that same red to black fade on this section here. And it goes from red and then fades into the normal color of a blank guide wrapping silver details on the side with the red in the center and then we see our first guide i believe the h is for heavy and x is for cross cross carbon and then on here but 762m okay so it's got you know it's saying that this is the butt end of the rod and it's got that I believe the zero has a female end on the butt end but this one has the male end so we'll put them together later and check out what that looks like I definitely like the look of it it's interesting how they they spelt butt here with one T and two T's on the other end in terms of the looks definitely definitely nice okay we'll have a look at the tip section now okay so it says tip 761m so the other one said 2m this one says 1m just just in case you confuse yourself what goes where on the two-piece rod 
it's got that nice red i'm usually not a fan of red uh to be honest um i'm more like you know blue and green i guess more so than reds and golds but this is quite good especially with the reel i've got for it to pair it with which i'll show at the end of the video so we have one guide on the butt section two three four five six seven eight nine guides here and you got micro guides we've got these two normal sized guides here and then it switches to these micro guides which is going to be interesting because i'm going to be running some slightly heavier line on this uh, so it'll be interesting how that deals with that might have to learn how to do an fg knot you can see fuji printed right there also as many pure lure rods do they come with a bait keeper you can put on your rod if you like those or not i probably won't put it on to be honest but it's a nice addition okay so let's compare it to the pure lure zero they're both seven foot six rods obviously completely different rods in terms of their casting weight the zero is uh 1.8 grams on the lower end this one's five grams on the on the lower end so obviously completely different rods but i thought it'd be just interesting to show the differences um because you know some people out there might have the zero so firstly the groupler it has the triangulated butt which is much thicker and it's uh, a little bit longer as well so if we compare where they kind of both uh, taper off into their thicker parts it's a longer thicker butt which makes sense it's a it's a heavier rod so totally understandable there this one groupler has the cross wrap in this section whereas the uh, the zero doesn't in terms of the handles more or less the same the groupler has a oh, i like the look of this uh little detail here as opposed to this step down black part there but um yeah we can see the grips are actually a little bit different even though the firmness of the foam is exactly the same the groupler has a little bit more of a um i guess the zero is more conical whereas the groupler has a a bit more of a a concaved part here maybe it might be a little bit more ergonomical to hold in terms of the real seats this section here seems to be the same in terms of the the trigger and everything like that but obviously it's it's far different here and this has a skeleton type real seat you can see the cross wrap there whereas this is a solid piece probably done to make the rod a little bit more durable seeing as it's a heavier rod and the nut the nuts are much longer on the groupler if we just undo those <laughs> interestingly enough i don't think you can undo this and take it off i think it i think it stops here that's different but you know i don't know why you'd really want to take it off but um yeah you can see that they're completely different real seats really as for the tip the groupless tip is a little bit lower i think that could be explained by the the zero being having so much backbone and being an extra fast rod that it has more of a bias towards the tip end in terms of where the guides are placed it's actually um it's actually a thinner rod the groupler and then if we just look at the the join here yeah as i mentioned earlier the zero has a female join here whereas the groupler has the i guess this is the spigot the male end so as most of you know i definitely like the rod and the reel to look nicely together don't really like to mix brands or to mix you know mix the colors up i want it to look nice so i've got an absolutely perfect reel i think for this job boom here it is this is actually a Abu Garcia Revo X uh, with a shallow spool that I got from AliExpress and some uh, switched out the handle to a carbon handle and also these are 
different, uh, these are different knobs. These are Kawa branded knobs from AliExpress. Haven't installed the drag clicker yet, which I plan to do in the future. But in terms of the looks, I think this is a really nice reel. And uh, I've had it for maybe 18 months now. Got it on clearance when the Revo 5 series came out. So I got it really cheap. I think I got it for something like, uh, it was definitely under 80 Australian dollars, which is probably around that 55 US mark. So got it nice and cheap and um, haven't really used it too much, but I think this is the perfect rod for it. Okay, so that's the Pure Lure Groupla. If you like this video, please drop a comment and hit that like button and uh, drop a comment and tell me what you think out of 10. What do you give this rod and reel combo in terms of its aesthetics? I reckon it looks pretty good. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.